Hi, I'm Paige Phillips and I'm the director of Peter Pan and the Scotland Adventure. I'm Carla Bartlett, the musical director. And I'm Tim Gillette, the technical director. And we thought it would be fun to just uh, take this opportunity to thank you for any support that you have given us and um, any future support that you might be giving us for our trip to Scotland and just kind of tell you a little bit about um, how this whole thing started and what our year has been like and things like that. So. Um, we've been working on this for about a year, I think it was last April, wasn't it, that we found out? That we found out that we were actually going to get to go to Scotland, and um, so we um, started planning what show we were going to do, and working with the students, and then it's been one year of fundraising, event after event after event, trying to raise the money. We uh, performed the show at the end of February and the 1st of March for the community here and the couple audiences. And um, now we're doing a much shorter version to take with us to Edinburgh to the renowned Fringe Festival there in Scotland. All of your best and first impression is awfully important. So how does this experience enhance your growth as an artist? Oh, uh, well, it de it's, it's definitely a big step as a theater student. Because since this is my first time being a lead, in the musical and uh, being really exposed into another form of performing because I've never actually sung in, like as a soloist in front of a, a huge audience. So this is definitely going to expose me more and make me more comfortable. And up you go! Oh. I think Scotland will be an eye opener where. Um, you get to experience more of the world, and it also exposes you to more cultures and more types of like music and theater, since we'll be also seeing other performances. Just the fact that we're able to go out and perform is just wonderful, and the thought of that is just great. Yeah, being in front of an international audience, it seems amazing to me, and although it's intimidating, I'm super excited. As am I. There's, there's nothing that's going to be the same because we can't ship anything to Scotland and so one of the challenges that we face is, is how do we put on something that we did so big and so huge in, in our space and make it small and compact on a completely different stage with completely different equipment, so it's going to be a huge challenge, and we, we've already been thinking about that even when we were building Peter Pan in our space. Okay, will you take it from there? My name's Soil. That's my name. Okay, so how do you feel about going to another country with your peers? Are you nervous or excited? Um, yeah, excited. Yeah. Because like we've all like come together as a cast and we've all bonded really well and we're all like really close friends, so this is like a really like eye-opening experience for us to like travel around the world doing something we love performing with all our friends which is like something that you can it's like once in a lifetime experience mm -hmm. yeah I'm like super excited because like I re I'm looking really forward to mingling with the people there because even though they speak our language they obviously have a very different culture there and the closest I've been to like Scotland kind of things is like reading like Macbeth and like having a Scottish like Spanish teacher yeah that's yeah <laughs> So why did you guys want to go to Scotland? Uh, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to first. Um, I wanted to go to Scotland just because, I don't know, I've been in theater for a while now, but I've never been out of the country doing, in, involved in the production, so I think it's really good life experience as well as like experience artistically. Yeah, it's just, I think it's because we've only worked on productions in our school and I think working like outside of the country and meeting new people, it'll help us with uh, learning more about theater and how it works internationally, not just uh, like around here. And knowing like the bigger community mm -hmm. of theater, yeah. I've also never been out of the country and I'm looking forward to just being exposed to so much theater. In Edinburgh, they're having all these theaters, like all these theater companies and groups perform, and that should be all around an amazing experience. The rock! I know! I am digging! It seemed like a fun opportunity. I've never traveled with my friends without my parents, and I'm also bringing a cello overseas, so that's something I look forward to. 
What I expect in Scotland would be an um, awfully big adventure to live in for um, three weeks and it will be a very um, fun, really amazing experience especially um, since I really love theater and to experience great theater out there internationally. What are you most looking forward to? The girls. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm looking forward to actually experiencing uh, the different cultures that I'll see and all the different people I'll meet. Because it's not every day that I get to go out of my comfort zone and out of the country and to experience a new, whole new, entirely new culture and country. And for me, it's mainly performing in front of the international audience since I've only done theater as in like school community wise and taking it to the next level on a theater base is like pretty interesting and I'm really looking forward to that. We've had a 50 piece orchestra and we've played all of the songs all the way through with the, with the actors and singers and now we have to compact uh, <laughs> the, the score from um, a full orchestra score down to a combo. Jennifer said it might be like a Chinese fire drill while we're running from instrument to instrument. <laughs> well, you true. play the piano, I'll play the guitar. Oh, you yeah. play the accordion, I'll play the bass. Oh, you play the drums. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're, we're uh, looking forward to developing that new version. That's going to be really cool for the actors too because they have been doing this full orchestra music for months and months and months and now they're um, going to have just this small combo which is um, yeah, so it's a whole new rehearsal process, be a much, everything. A much more intimate uh, mm -hmm. production. Yeah. Um, which, yeah. you know, which has its pluses. So, thank you so much for supporting us and um, for listening to us go on about our, our challenges and the experience that we're so excited about having with these students. It's just going to be such an extension of our teaching and uh, everything that we do and the arts that we believe in so passionately. So, thank you. Live musical theater, yes! <laughs> <laughs>